Yo, what's awesome, up guys, Fig Sweet one here today's video. Got some new customs and um pickups. So we'll start off with the um non two customs. So I did get this from Smith's, not in the store, then um, delivered, and I'm actually surprised I got this because first of all they went up for pre-order on Smith's and I did miss out on it, but then they came up for pre-order again, so I managed to get one. And yeah, super happy with this. I do want to get the chase as well, so I might have to wait till they get them in the stores for that because I don't want to order another one just in case I get this one again. So I will wait to see if, or oh, not see when they do get them in the stores, and I'll look for the chase one. Hopefully, they have it and get that. But this figure is so cool, it's in the War Games tire to, um, to match Roderick Strong, and the color are these an Elite 81? No, yeah, eight, no, 80, sorry. And yeah, I just wish we had the Adam Cole in this tire, which we had the ch um, chance, but no. Um, the other one won the vote apparently, so that's a bit annoying. But anyway, still a really cool figure. Got all the details on the back of the kick pads and knee pads. Rubber shirt comes with the new NXT tag title. New head sculpt on him, and a really cool Bobby Fish. And I can't wait to get the Carlo Riley to match this. And he also came with the interchangeable hands which is really nice comes with the interview Dara ones the um other hands for when they do the pose and yeah really cool and also not wrestling related i did get this pick up this today is this marvel legend dr doom and man this looks insane when i saw this i just had to get from the fantastic four yeah really cool dr doom and i don't really i did get into a Phase oh I've collected Marvel Legends and I stopped. But I might pick up the other one or two because some of them are really cool. Comes to interchangeable head scan. Um the hands and you know this build a figure part, which is really cool. And yeah, I can't wait to add that to the collection or on display, which I currently don't even have a display for my Marvel Legends, so I need to redo that. But yeah, they're the two um like mail call-in pickup, and now we move on to the two customs. Which I was gonna put these into the next custom batch, but um, just in case they sell before that, I want to show them off in this video. So first of all, we'll start off with this Damien Priest, and yeah, a lot of the feedback on this on my Instagram, which the link will be in my dis in the um, description. A lot of people do like this, and I'm glad because I think it's a really cool custom. The only downfall is the head scan. It is a Undertaker, but I think it does work. And I obviously removed the beard, try to modify it a bit. But yeah, people are saying like maybe a Jimmy Uso, which probably would work better than the torso. This torso fits him better. I know the skin tone's not accurate. But yeah, this is a hard custom to make. I don't see too many Damien Priest customs out there. So I'm super happy that this came out. Obviously got all the design gear from Curb Stomp and I added them on. All the tattoos. And a really cool Damien Priest. The parts for this I used was Undertaker Head Scan, I can't remember what series, or Elite. Wade Barrett style torso, then Luke Gallows legs. Yeah, super cool how this came out. And here we got Damian Priest, the current North American champion. And next we got Leo Rush, who's currently not in WWE, which is a shame because he would have fit in really good for the Hurt Business. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, because I think you would have. So him and Lashley were good together as a team. So yeah, here's this Leo Rush in man. This one's actually sold, so yeah, but it's a really cool Leo Rush. Got the head cast from BEW and Mad Reaper on the Instagram and their website, and a figure giant as well. Like so the Mad Reaper's website and BEW uh, made this head, and I painted it up. Super happy it came out, and then obviously we've got all the designs going on Leo Rush on the knee pads, the back, all the tattoos, again from Curb Stomp and Parts, this was a Kalisto. It's had some knee pads and obviously modified it a lot. Obviously, I took off the things on the sides, sculpted them on, had decals. So, a lot of work went into this. Definitely worth the outcome. And yeah, if we can get a closer shot, we got look at all these tattoos. <laughs> this is my second time making a Leo Rush, but the first one I made was a um, commission and it didn't have, they had this head, but it was one painted by BW, but I didn't have that. To post a picture of it, but that was on my Instagram as well. Got Rush on the back of the kit pads. I did like the, I tried to add the fade as well, which I think came out pretty cool. If I go to focus, 
by there. It's a really cool Leo Rush custom in um, Damien Priest. And I thought I'd just quickly put these in this quick video as well, because I wasn't sure I was going to do a video on the Bobby Fish, because you've probably seen so many reviews, but I thought I'd do a quick video and I can have these customs in. In this Doctor Doom pickup. Oh, and he fell. And <laughs> yeah, um, I thought I'd just put them in this video. But I also want to say to the next um, couple of days coming, we should have some pretty big unboxings. So make sure you're subscribed um, if you're not already. Because we got some really cool things coming. And yeah, guys, also, we're really we're close to 1,000 subscribers, as I said previous videos. And yeah, so please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, guys, that's been today's quick little um, video on some customs and new things we got. And yeah, like the video if you're already. Let me know in the comments down below um, which one you um, think's better. Are these two, Damien Priest, the... Leo Rush and how they turn out, I think they came out pretty cool. And definitely get this Bobby Fish if you haven't already in this Marvel Legends if you're into that. And yeah, all that in the comments down below. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.